What's up, everybody? Master King Chef J right here, and I appreciate y'all watching. Hey, man, it's almost holidays, right? It's the holidays. So what better way to celebrate the holidays than some nice, fresh chocolate chip cookies? That's what we got for y'all. So if I was y'all, I would not go anywhere. Stick around. Now we are always building flavors every day of the week. Shout out to Chef Jaden, he done saved you a seat. Like, comment, and subscribe, and go and put on repeat. And now wait. Take out your season and make it rain on that thing. This the type of cooking, make him buy you a rain. Don't compare Chef Jake, cause he ain't the same. And that's for real, though. You know the deal, though. And I know you probably heard it through the grapevine. That everything that he makes, it is great fine. Left some macaroni to the crepe cake and the ribeye. Super Bowl videos, go get ready for the fish fry. Or some natural hot chicken for some kickback, uh. Or some henny hot wings just to get slapped, uh. He moving up to greater things, ain't no get back, uh. He the best at everything, Chef Gerard the Master King. All right, beautiful people. So we're gonna start off with this process called creaming. And all that is is taking room temperature butter. Remember, room temperature butter. And what we're gonna do is add four ounces of butter or a half a cup of butter. It has to be room temperature to a bowl, right? And then I'm gonna take a half a cup of brown sugar, right? And then I'm gonna take another half cup of regular granulated sugar. And what I'm gonna do now, and get that lump out of there. We don't want any lumps. What I'm gonna do now is mix it. Now, the room, the butter's not room temperature. You're not gonna be able to spread it like this. Now, it's also another way to do this is to use a mixer. But there's no need to break out the mixer if you do this, right? So what I'm gonna do is continue to cream this together and I'll show you guys what comes next. Now that we got that all creamed together real well, probably take about a good three to four minutes. You're gonna take, since your butter was room temperature, it's good to take a room temperature egg, right? We're gonna add a room temperature egg in there. And then we're gonna cream it some more. So as I mix this up, y'all stick around, man. Don't go nowhere. All right, so we got the room temperature egg in there. Worked really well, right? Now I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla. All right? Gonna mix that up really well. Now, everything's nice and smooth. You wanna make sure everything's nice and smooth. Now, if you wanna use a mixer, you go right ahead and use a mixer. But I'm using my mixer, you know what I'm saying? So now, it's time to add the flour. So, what I'm gonna do, I have one and a quarter cup of flour. I'm gonna put the flour in here, and that's one cup right there. And then I'm gonna add another quarter cup. And this is all-purpose flour. There's a difference between all-purpose and self-rising, right? And then, here's my little trick, right? I put cornstarch inside my cookie mix. And what that does is make sure that the, core, that the cookies stay soft on the inside. That's a little trick I did, right? So I'm gonna take a tablespoon of cornstarch, and I'm gonna add it to here. And this is all my dry ingredients. And then I'll take about a teaspoon of salt, right? You want it to have balance in there. You can't have everything sweet, right? Take a little seafood, a uh, teaspoon of salt. And yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it rain on that thing. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna sift this all together. Once that's sifted together, cause you don't want any crumbles. You want your cookie to be nice and smooth. So once this is all sifted together, you see how you got that there? Nice and smooth, beautiful sifted together. We gonna Mix that in. We're gonna show y'all what this looks like once it's all mixed together. Man, I don't mix this up with my hand hand mixer. And look how beautiful this cookie dough is. Now this is before we add any other chocolate. I got chocolate chips and toasted pecans that we're gonna add in here. And now it's time to add chocolate chips, toasted pecans. So usually you can do about a half cup if you're gonna use two different types of chocolates or a cup and a half total of everything, all right? So what I have here is some dark chocolate chunks, right? I'm gonna add about a half a cup of that, all right? You can add as much as you want, totally up to you. Hey, yo cookies, all right? Chocolate chunks, right? And then I'm gonna take some semi-sweet 
chocolate chips, right? Because you don't want everything to be too sweet. So you want to have a balanced out. You can use milk chocolate if you please. You can use semi-sweet. I'm using semi-sweet. I'm going to add about a cup of that. Plus, I want chocolate chips in every bite. And then I got some walnuts. I'm sorry, some pecans I got. And I did lightly, I did lightly toast those. I'm going to add those in there too. If you don't like pecans, don't pecan, don't put them in there. Put you some peanuts in there or some walnuts in there. Whatever type of nut you like. If you don't like nuts, don't worry about it. You can also at this point add some peanut butter, whatever you like, right? I'm gonna mix this up real good. And then once this is mixed together, I'm gonna show y'all once everything is mixed well. And once you get it to where it's all mixed well and you feel like it's not enough of whatever you like in there, add some more. They're your cookies. Be right back. Hey, camera guy, man. Check these chocolate chip cookies out. Man, don't they look good? All right. Now, what we're gonna do is shape our cookies. Now, you can use a spoon or a scoop. At this point, I'm gonna use a scoop. And you can make them however big you want, but you wanna keep them, you know, relatively small. Because if you cook, cook them too big and make them too big, then they will cook unevenly. So, I'm gonna take a cookie, right? Take Put it right here, one scoop, boom. Take another scoop. And then you see I didn't fully put it all the way in, I just got it evened off right there. Take it out of my hand and go boom. I'm gonna finish doing these out and then we're gonna let these, what we're gonna do is put these in the refrigerator. Now, here's another key that I wanna give y'all. Room temperature butter, room temperature egg, right? Make sure you sift your dry ingredients. Now, once you get them to this point, depending on if your butter was, you know, room temperature or not, these cookies could, call, could fall flat. So what we want to do to make sure they all cook evenly, we're going to put them in a refrigerator for maybe 35 minutes to an hour, just so they can all, you know, get nice and formed, and then we're going to bake them. But right now, I'm going to scoop them out, and we'll be right back. Camera guy, when I was a little boy, and my mama made cookies, I couldn't wait. Get the bowl. Yeah, know what I'm talking about. Mm -mm -mm. All right, wait, wait. Man, that's so good. Put that to the side. Now what I'm gonna do is put this in the refrigerator for about an hour, if I can, if I can wait that long. And then we're just gonna transfer it straight to the, to the oven. So put these in the refrigerator. All right, check them out. All right, camera guy, I'm gonna take these cookies out of the fridge, you know? Nice and settled, right? Take them out. You guys see this, right? Beautiful. Now, they're gonna spread a little bit. So when you put them on here, you gotta spread them apart. So when they start to bake, you don't want them to stick together. We're gonna put this in the oven, 325 degrees. We're gonna bake them for a total of 16 minutes, but I'm gonna set my timer for eight minutes because people ovens do not you always cook evenly. So um, after eight minutes, I'm gonna flip it around like this. Cook it another eight minutes. Got it? Eight minutes. Flip it around. Eight minutes. Hey man, listen. It's smelling good in here, man. I gotta go in here and get these cookies. The hardest part about these cookies, I'm making them, is letting them cool when they come out of the oven. That's the hardest part. Look how beautiful these things are. I'm gonna grab them like that. There y'all see these beautiful cookies? What we gonna do, we gonna sit them down right there. And I would taste these for y'all right now, but they gotta cool. So I'm just gonna sit here for about 10 minutes and just stare at them and watch them cool off. Cause they look really good. Hey, don't go anywhere. Stick around. Oh, oh, my my bad, I was, I was gone, I was gone. Hey, thanks for waking me up, appreciate that. All right, so, whew, Lord Jesus. All right, so I had to let these cool, right? Um, yeah, I was in a little La La Land. But uh, let's see what we got here. Now, we made these cookies, right? Put the chocolate chunks in there. We put the semi-sweet chocolate chips in there. We got a little toasted pecans in there. Woo! 
Now, I told y'all my secret, right? Take a little bit of bacon, no, not bacon powder, take a little bit of cornstarch, and that keeps the inside nice and moist when you make these cookies. So now y'all know Chef's secret. Now, these have cooled a little bit. I'm about to break this thing open. Y'all see that? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Y'all see that? Now, you already know, I got to taste it, right? Cause y'all got to know what it tastes like cause I got to tell you. My favorite part of the whole cookie process. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna get to y'all, hold on. Let me get some milk, hold on. No, I'm just playing. This cookie is straight fire. O-M-G. Man, it is so much flavor. I don't know what to say, man. It's, besides, it's just good. Oh, man. The chocolate chips, the chunky, chippy, chocolate chunky, cookie chip chunks, <laughs> the pecans. Man, y'all see how moist that is on the inside? Let me break another one out. That's that's the cornstarch secret right there. Y'all see that? And y'all heard the crunch, right? Look, listen, listen. You hear the crunch? Ain't nothing like a crunchy, soft cookie. Man, this cookie is fire. Man, I hope y'all make these, right? When you make them, let me know. Send me a text or something or an email or something because these are good. You're going to thank me later. All right, so we got these cookies right here. I'm going to go get some milk. I'm going to enjoy all three, six, seven, eight. I'm going to enjoy all eight cookies. Camera guys here. Camera guys, sisters here. They ain't getting none. They all mine. We're going to go. But listen, guys, seriously, though, I'd like to thank y'all for sticking with me for this whole time we've been shooting this video. I remember when I shot my first one. It was a Hennessy and Honey Wayne. And I was excited when I got 10 subscribers. And then I got excited when I had 100. We almost had 100,000, man. So, woohoo! I appreciate y'all. Remember to continue to like, share, and subscribe. And y'all know what I'm about to say. Always keep God first in your life, and everything will fall into place. Thank y'all for watching. God bless. I'm gonna get some milk for real this time.